Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is uh, for you. I thought I was all ready to go, but uh, apparently I'm not. Um, yeah, I was going to make another hot chocolate. I got that out there and I'm kind of um, a little sidetracked. Not sidetracked, some stuff going on in my brain. Sad, sad news. I got the season's greeting. I'm trying to dress a little Christmassy, but hey, you know what? This isn't. Not everybody is feeling the same going into this. Some um, got some sad news, and I want to send my condolences to to a family, friends of mine. It's been friends since I've been here in Peterborough. transition to the blue road and my hearts go out to you all and I'm here I'm here for you and um, I know I'm not the only family and um, it's been touched by this illness of addiction and um, there's lots of judgment and stigma around it. What it is, is like that they're going and chasing highs, you know, let's just get high, get high, get high. What is that for? Because they're trying to hide. They're not trying to get high, they're trying to hide. All that hurt, shame inside, whatever that is, for each individual. Trauma is the gateway drug, shame feeling ashamed just, just to have been born, you know, like your life has just been bringing misery to others. And as a baby, right, that's the challenge, it's joy, you bring joy to the world, but if you didn't get that experience, for whatever reasons, in whatever ways, whether it came from, you know, the food, or as you got older, or whatever, whatever that was for you. You need to have understanding. I don't believe addiction is weakness either because, well, what, what they can go through and look at how fast those bodies can recover, right? I don't think it's a weakness. It's not always a choice. We talked about habits. Yesterday it becomes then a habit. And it's hard to switch that when it's programmed in your brain, right? And if you don't have any other programming or access to learn mm -hmm. something new, a different way of handling it, if this has just been passed down through generations, you know, I kind of can look at that one attic, look at that history in that, in that family and all. Like this, this, this isn't just touching one family. My big brother in 2018, you know, I see it as their way of trying to save their family from themselves. So if they can't get themselves out of there, they watch the ones they love dying a little each time they see them going back to their whatever that is for them. And that's how I see it. That's an act of love. Love for their family and they don't want to hurt anybody anymore, but they don't know how. They can't get themselves out of it. They can't pull themselves out of it. And they don't want to pull anybody down with them. Sometimes they don't even mean to, right? Maybe they've tried to get get off and clean up and and then they fall back. It's it's an it's it's a disease of relapse, right? It's to be expected. Because again, right, sometimes you don't even know. Sometimes you don't even realize because there's triggers. I remember a teacher sharing with us about, you know, that experience with alcoholism. 
the teacher said it was the sound in the glass, right? And then you're up at the bar and taking a sip and realizing, whoa, how did I get in here? Because it gets into that automatic response where you don't even realize, like when we can get in and drive our car and it seems like the car knows the way, right? Because we go back and forth to work every day or whatever. We don't have to think about it. That's the thing. It takes over. And then not only is it the, the that, right, where you've got those programs in your brain, but your body then becomes dependent on a lot of these, the, the chemical drugs. There's, there's, there's the psychological dependence and then actual physical dependence where your body, your body actually craves it. So it has nothing to do with your thinking you want this. Your body is craving that. That's why you go through withdrawals and tremors and, and things like that. So as you see, I got my smudge bowl out here. I've got some sage in there already. This, um, I believe, is holy wood as well. It smells good. And then the cedar for protection. Got the ring of sweet grass around there. So just thought I'd do this for us all, for so, especially for us that is, you know, is isn't the most joyous holidays that we're having. And maybe a lot of us, this is this time when, when we're told we can't connect and not to connect. That it's unsafe. It's unsafe for us to come together. It's always been safety in numbers, right? That's what I was told. Safety in numbers. So, anyways. I start with a little smudge and then I'm going to ask the cards. I thought either peace tree, the peace tree spread. Or I did some prayers, just some words of encouragement or validation, support, that love, help us through these times if it's not the most happiest time, but seasons. Greetings and Merry Christmas to y'all anyway, or however you say that, whatever you celebrate. But let's honor not everybody. Not everybody. It's um, going into this with uh, joy. But let's think about the joys that we did have, even in the sorrows. Let's reflect on those joys. So as I light this smudge, I pray to Creator to help us feel the love and support from our Creator, whatever we call that, from our Source. Wash away the sorrows. Help us feel that joy. Let that joy bubble up. Turn those tears of sorrow into those juicy tears of joy. Remembering the joys, the times that we had, times that we celebrated. Times when we saw that spark of life in their eyes when we could see them. appreciate those times no matter how tough your life has been there's some joyous times in there so let's remember those it's the season to reflect to let go just had her solstice all the days are going to start getting a little bit longer now we need to go through the darkest night the longest night we can appreciate the light, the love. And we appreciate the light in the dark too, right? Love that. If you can't see the light, then you are the light. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> Talking too much, so let's get this lit up her. And if you want to say your own prayer, calling in your own source. Sage is very purifying and cleansing energy. Sage is actually the woman medicine, sweet grass, the cedar medicine. We clear out all those negative energies and we're going to call in all those positive, joyous, well, let's not call positive and negative, but those supportive, those loving energies, clearing out the fearful energies. 
love remains, clearing out all the fear so that only love remains. Smell that? I'll put the love wood on her too. Take that all around. You smell it? If you got your own, you can light it too and smell it with this. Pull over you. Out of the way, so we just see that. Can I do that? Pull that over there, you go. Get your feet up if you need to. Mingwitch, Mingwitch. She meant a dumb Mingwitch. We'll slide our cards through here, too. Hmm. I if I can take that out little clip, you see? Mmm, mm, smells so good. Oh. Hurt myself. It's okay. Awesome. Okay. Twelve. Six. Okay. Some validation. Encouragement. Sacred mountain spirit. What's that? Well, I don't know which one it's in then. I think it's in the other book I got that on. So, let's just do our overalls, because, uh, if I do those, I get out of my way, I don't have to think about this much. <laughs> just want to let it flow. Let it flow, let it go, let it flow, let it go, let it flow, let it go, let it flow. Weird. Yo. Let's swing it, let's swing it, let's let's swing, swing it, in. swing, ding a ling a ling, swing y'all, ding a ling, ding ding ding, <laughs> ding a ling a ling. <laughs> let's swing it, let's swing it. Okay. We want to feel it. It's not swinging it so we don't feel it. It's swinging it so we can feel it, but we don't live there. Okay. It's, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Words of encouragement, words of validation. 
help us through. Me time for feeling sad. We come back to this. Just a little smudge in there. We'll time stamp it all. You got thank you for creator to help us find this power we have inside of us. Each one of us. We are empowered by the spirit, by our source. Know that we all are. And we will return to our source. Take comfort in that. Return to the source. And it's never, it's never too late. God knows our hearts no matter what. No matter what our life looked like on this earth. Our human eyes can't see it or conceive it, but you know, our creator knows. And our creator will always bring us home. <sighs> Calling in all of our directions from the east, the path of illumination and clarity, place of fire, place of man. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the south, that's the childhood, the place of innocence, the waters, the emotions. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the West. That's the earth place of introspection. Physical, the woman. And calling back all of our energies from the North. That's the air, the wisdom, years. And mental. Air, mental, wisdom, years. Walk our uh, red road from South in childhood. Uh, to the north in adulthood where we see we're our biggest allies and support or that our biggest allies and support is a spirit spirit never leaves us it's always with us to the north to our wisdom years right the coca belly where maybe we made babies or not what we learned is that creativity that hey that uh, that sexual energy is not a craving of sex where we the sexual energy is creative energies so we can take that and use that into our creativity whatever that is for you and east to west is the blue road of spirit as the sun, and it is there with us. <sighs> we can connect anytime. All the relations go to that blue road of spirit. We will go there too. It's the life force. Spirit is the life force. The bodies return to the earth. Spirit goes back. To the source who is there just as the sun always there with us the energy is just transformed it's never going it's just transformed <laughs> release that burden right really release the burdens of these physical bodies because they're limited limited we join up the spirit the source which is limitless so they're limitless now they're at peace now finally not feeling like they're a burden on anybody because hey they could be treated like a burden look at look at how this society treats a hurting people crying out for help like they're burdens no oh, i know we come to a point in adulthood where we need to look at our own right but if we're stunted in our growth and we see no other way if we're treated always like a burden right there's, there's, we have to, there needs to be a balance, there needs to be a balance, and it begins within each of us. Above, <laughs> below, <laughs> and within. <laughs> One guy. Spread them, spread them, spread them. They spread them out like that. They spread them, spread them, spread them, and lay them all flat, just like that. Gotta swing it, I let the tears flow. Let the tears flow. Had to let them go. Better out there, and you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll get my another dose after. Okay, line them up just like the other ones. 
Gonna give us some confirmations. Encouragement. There we go. Okay, at this time of year, whether you've gone through whatever you're going through in this time of year, if, if, if it's not just the most optimal, whatever, whether it's on this global thing that we're going through, you have things happening in your family, and I'm a strong believer that global things happen to draw us within. Stop our distractions from the outside. We have to focus inside. So, is it a blessing or a curse? I don't know. That's up to you. We get to decide for ourselves what each is. So, thank you, God. The overall thing to focus on here. Overall words of encouragement or validation. Whatever you need. It's there for you. Ask and you shall receive. What's that? The reflections. Great smoking mirrors. Right? 40 was the number on the dolphin. <sighs> what is it reflecting to you as we reach this point of a life that has uh, chosen to walk over to that blue side road? Whatever that is. Reflection. What is this saying to me? Reviewing your own life, reviewing your life with that person. No shame or blame. What is their death teaching you about yourself? What it's reflecting to you for you to look inside. You know, whether it's the judgments that we place on others or the projections of our own pains or the resentments. You know, for myself, I used to resent alcoholics or those ones that could just go drown their sorrows and I, I, I judged that this is a choice even with all the studying, even studying addiction since grade four, literally literally since grade four <laughs> um, I still so I had to reflect on that in myself this is that time to look within what is this saying to you what are all those feelings and emotions that's coming up at this time saying to you? Whether it's that loss of life or that this season isn't, you know, or that this year, whatever. What is this reflecting to you? And 20 plus 20 equals 40, right? So adding it all up, reflecting back on this whole year, whatever's happened in your life personally. Confirmation. Right? You're in the image of the creator. Creator sees. You're part of that, right? What have you dreamed into being? Right, we thought this 2020 clear vision. Well, all right, we to get clear vision, we need to clean out whatever's blocking our vision, right? Create smoking mirrors. We need to wait for that mirror to clear before we get a clear vision. So we've been going through, right? And educating ourselves, knowing, getting all that information. That's how we can get a clear vision too. If we don't have that, how do we get that clear vision? Hmm. What have you dreamed into being? Right. What is this world as a collective, right? Because we're having an effect. If you don't, wow, don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself thinking you don't have an effect on this world. You absolutely do. It is true. Absolutely true. Okay, let me bring this back here. Oh. How about that? Right in front of me for now. <laughs> I'll blow them down. Well, blow me down. Here. Seasons, greetings. There. Okay. That works a little better. Anyways. Ouch. So we're looking at that, that reflections. Okay. What did we all dream into being? As a society. Look at what part did we play in that, right? Even if we don't say nothing, we're still playing, right? Even sitting quiet is still making a choice. It is still, right? Silence still. Right? Silence is the best ally of the evil or whatever, right? 
right? Mm -hmm. Those that just don't speak up. I'm just going to keep to myself. I want to keep the peace. I want to keep the peace. I want to keep the peace. Oh, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to rock the boat. Well, look at all the ones that do want to rock the boat, right? So, come on. Let's acknowledge that in ourselves. See, because we can't change it to anybody else. What has this year been a reflection of to you, of what you've been dreaming? Hmm? And we're reflecting on that. Reflections, right? We're going inside, that introspection, that creativity inside. What's that mean? Did it pull out creative stuff out of you? Was it the tipping point? Right? Was it the straw that broke the crammel's back this, this year? Was it for you, in your own life, personally? Because we can't... We can only support others. We can't do anything for them, really, right? We can sit there, show them other viewpoints and options, say, hey, right, why, why not look at it from this angle? No, don't tell them their thing isn't so bad. Sometimes it's just listening. Listening to their, their view of how they don't see that they have any options. This is all that we've learned. So if we're looking on, if we've looked at what are our viewpoints, what are these options, how are we limiting ourselves to that? Do we talk too many so that we confuse ourselves with so many things to do? Are we listening inside, listening to our source? What is that, right? Are we, be, we being, what are we weaving in our webs? What are we trying to catch? Right? Are we not looking to see that we've already caught a morsel because we're worried and focused on this one little hole? What is that? Do we keep spinning in circles because that's all we learned to do? We didn't learn how to join our webs. Right? Maybe. Maybe we didn't learn that language to be able to speak about what's what's going on inside of us because, you know, feelings are meant to be felt. That's why it's so hard to describe. Feelings can't be really described with the, the, the words. It limits us. So then we limit our feelings we limit the expression of that what is that what is that for you what's the lie you tell yourself what's what's the reflections telling you about this what's the reflections telling you about your viewpoints and options so you're looking looking what's reflecting how did you come to these viewpoints right what, what, what are your opinions that when I see opinions in too right what's your opinion so you know where did you come to these judgments do you judge others or do you just look within yourself right I don't know. What is that for you? And then what actions should we take on that? What actions for that comfort, support? We need that. We do that for ourselves. We connect with you, Source. Because we it's a time we're not allowed to connect with others. I mean, we can do it this way. We can do it through our hearts and spiritually. And maybe it's time to practice our telepathy. <laughs> What's the action? the action we can take feeling overwhelmed with all of this whatever it is going on in your life right now feel the plenty the ideas and needs manifested ideas and needs manifested if we don't put it out there if we don't make the web how are we going to catch those morsels if we weren't ever taught how to build that web to catch those how are we ever if we we're never taught how to fulfill our own needs how to take care of ourselves we were never validated that our needs were just as important as anybody else's. If we're made to feel like we were just here to play the supporting role in somebody else's life. What 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 is that for you? So what's that action? What's the actions you've taken to help manifest your ideas and needs? Do you have the stamina? Do you try and take it all at once? Right, so we need to slow down. Okay, we can't it doesn't magically woof, there's always these steps. We talk about all this manifestation and all that. We need to get out of our own way. It doesn't happen overnight, right? The seed doesn't grow overnight. It takes some time and nourishment. So that's why we have to have the stamina to go the distance. So we're reflecting on that. And that dreaming. So to, what are the dreams we want? Right? We're reflecting. And how are we doing that? As we've got viewpoints and options that we got to burn ourselves out to get that, and then we won't enjoy it when it does manifest into our lives. And what? Do we want to just go right back to the old ways where some people are put above other people? And then we have people feeling worthless, turning to things to make them feel better? Let's look at what we've done as a society to our own people. 
We do it to ourselves. God does not do this to us. God loves us unconditionally. Creator, whatever you want to call it. It's man competes. Man tests. Man says, I'm better than you. You're better. You're less than me. What, whatever that is for you. And I say man. I mean, human. I mean, jeez. says right there in the Bible, even God sees no difference between man and woman. All God's creations, it's man that keeps separating us. And mostly, uh, man. Woman in their masculinity. I don't know. Whenever. Maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Either way, we got to look at that in ourselves. In ourselves. Right? Women, life givers. Men, life protectors. Right? Now I'll slide that over more in front of me since I don't have them spread out. Or gonna smudge out the way. There we go. Oh well, back a little bit. So now I mean, you can see the other ones I put up there. The top and the bottom, right? We're going inside that West Shield introspection. Aha! Uh -huh. We need to tap into that nurturing in all of us, okay? This is not about men versus women. It's about masculine energy and feminine energy, which we all have. And that masculine energy has overpowered. Overpowered instead of empowered, right? Well, I didn't like that action. <laughs> Whatever it is, they did more of that. Anyways... Uh, we're reflecting on that going inside because we can only change that inside ourselves, right? How did that work for us? What what did we do? How, how, what's the introspections? We're gathering together. We need to gather together. But first, let's gather together and become a whole person and not going outside going, Oh, I need this. I need that. I cannot survive without that when we can, right? It's our source. We source. We, we come equipped with all that we need. We spread ourselves out too thin. All right? So that's why we got to gather ourselves together again. We spread ourselves too thin and we gather ourselves together again. There we go. Okay. And now we'll move on to the medicine woman tarot. Oh, here goes my daddy. He's such a bug. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just told him before I started this, he wouldn't be interrupting me. So now I just got to tease him because I can. Because, you know, I learned it from my daddy. <laughs> I love you, daddy. <laughs> love my daddy. Awesome. Okay, so these are jumping out already. What's that? These three just flipped around. Talking to my daddy. Look at that. We're coming home. Right? Coming home. I appreciate those days gone by, but we got to come home to that source. To that abundance that we know there's enough there for all. There's no need to fight over it. There's no need to fight over it. Those ones that want us fighting over it is the ones that want to have power over us and control everything. But you know what? It'll come around. They'll see. It's the arrogance. The arrogance that brings them down. Let them think they're winning. Let them think they know it all. But we got to stand up in truth. No? We don't want to just be silent anymore. We can't just be silent anymore. We don't just go complacently. Mm -mm. We don't want to fight either. We stand in our peace. We stand in our love and our light. We shine a light. We don't fight. Shine that light. Right? Knowing everything. There is enough for everybody. Appreciate those days gone by. And this is that love. Right? The body is returned to the earth. The soul goes back home. Well, I'm going to leave those right there. Because that's for our loved ones. That's encouragement especially for that. I, do you see that in there? That's, that's what I see out of that. I want a special place for those. Where? Where you can see them. Right there. Right there. We appreciate those days gone by, right? The body returns to that earth to help to fertilize that earth again. So, you know, they didn't go in vain. 
No matter what, they didn't go in vain. I'm going to put that against the smudge bowl. Those are three great reminders right there. Three great encouragement and validation. The soul has gone home. We appreciate the times gone by that we had those times with them, that love that we shared. Out. Beautiful. Absolutely. The earth is eternally fertile. Okay. Now we come home. We come home. Return to the earth. Ay, caramba. Driving me nuts. We're going to leave it like that. Here. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to take a little snapshot. Whatever. The main message is out of all of that we go back to the source we watch we learned right go home to the source where we're all loved we're at peace again we appreciate those days gone by that we got the time the time on this earth that we had fill the bounty now we're becoming fertilizer yeah right for the new bounty for the new growth we come home the new growth will happen there'll be new growth always 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 Always, right? Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. All right, okay. Well, it's a reflection on all of that. Reflection up there with the lizard. Just one for each of these cards. Thank you very much. Just one. <sighs> the reflections and dreaming. There we go. Hop right out there like that. Gathering together. We need to gather together. Gather us all together. Safety in numbers. Gather together with those of like minds. Gather together your whole self, your whole being, because that's where it starts. It begins within. See those reflections. What is it telling you? What are the things happening in your own little worlds? What are the things happening in the bigger worlds? We got to gather together and share that. Share that. It's in that separation. It's want to keep us separated. Because safety and power in numbers. Safety and power in numbers. They want to lessen our numbers. Whatever that is for you. Right. That's society. What has been dreamed into being? What kind of society did we dream into being? How does this reflect us? Hmm? Does this society reflect peaceful, loving people or selfish people? I don't know. What do you think society reflects? What is your life reflecting to you? Hmm? Gathering together all those life experiences, looking back now. Because 2020, clear vision. We had to clear. We had to wait for that smoke to clear. What is it? What is that for you? Hmm. Okay, right? Because we're, we're looking at that. What are we leaving? What are those options? Maybe we didn't have many more options. We get limited. So what are we we're being told what to do? Hmm, 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 hmm. What's this action that goes with that? The seed. We're planting new seeds. It's time for that new growth. So what are those seeds in you? What are those seeds you're nurturing? Right? Because what grows is what you're going to be given that nurturing to. So what are you nurturing? Are we going to nurture a new world and plant fruitful seeds that's there for all, that everybody can have some? Or a new world where it's still, we have the elite and we have the lower class. We're all human. We're all human. You bet your ass. <laughs> Okay, right, and then, and then, and then that reflections on that, right? Those seeds that we're planting, those seeds that may have been planted in us, right? And that's it. We need to plant those seeds to the restoration of nature's balance. Justice, justice will be served. We need the balance. Both energies, not one is better than the other. No human is better than another. No creature is more important than another. It's all needed. It's all for symbiotic relationships here. For a nice clear view of this beautiful creation. We are all a part of. 
We don't take justice into our own hands. God is the ultimate justice, whatever you call that great oneness, divine, the creator, the source of all. Whatever that is, you want to look at it in a science way, even science is showing that as well, so it doesn't matter. Whatever way you look at it, there's truth. Truth, truth, truth in it all. Truth in it all. We're all we coming home to that. We all got the bounty. We're all part of this beautiful world. There's the major arcana. So spirit is with us through it all. Spirit's been with us probably more than ever this year. Probably more than ever has this year. Look at that 11. That equals an 11. And this was an 11 on there. And then the three, whatever. So and we have on here totem of pipes. Free your mind to fly with the eagles. Eagle flies closest to spirit, right? Tap into that joy. Remember that times. Appreciate those days gone by. We're all coming home to spirit, to a beautiful world full, full with enough for everybody, with enough for everybody. We have that friendship, the tool bowls, because we're sharing. Nobody goes without because everybody's sharing. So we're taking in this world. Never mind give and take, right? Give and open to receive, right? First from the source. We receive from the source and we give from that full cup. We know we'll never be empty because everybody is giving. So I'm not going to be drained if you're giving to me and I'm giving to you. What is that? It might not be all the same things either. We need different. We need that beauty. We need the differences. There's beauty in those differences, right? Yes, there is. Absolutely. Okay, that's it for today. Wow. I hope that gave you some encouragement. Hope you'll come back and keep seeing that encouragement. So, just know, that's what happens. Our bodies go, return to that earth. We come home to that source. Our bodies return to the earth and help become to the fertilizer. We feel that bounty for the next one. We appreciate those days gone by with our loved ones. Appreciate those days gone by on this earth and what we've learned from our ancestors. Right. We got this. Love you all. Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because you know it. This world needs you to be you. Fully holy and true. I love you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. What other, other holidays? I, I don't know them all. Whatever you celebrate. I love you. Thank you.